Oh, good. Okay, praise the Lord. Whenever this works, it's a happy moment. These readings are very straightforward, at least certainly to my mind. In the first reading for September the 6th, September 5th and 6th, Isaiah uh, chapter 35, verses 4 to 7a. Be strong, fear not, here is your God. He comes to save you. And he pours out his goodness. God's power saves us and not our power. We depend on him and he does not fail us. He is almighty and spends his strength generously on us. Then over to the gospel. Mark uh, chapter 7, verses 31 to 37. Be open. Immediately the man's ears were opened and his speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. The people, they were exceedingly astonished and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. To those who are ailing, he has made them well. To those in need, he has made them whole. He is all-powerful, and he is generous with his power. Our wondrous, our loving God. The third reading from uh, the Epistle of St. James, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. As Jesus is good to all, treat the poor with at least as much respect as you treat the well-to-do. In our world, we want to impress certain very important people more, don't we? But the, the, the Lord doesn't do that. The Lord treats people, especially those who are most in need, who need his, his help most. He treats those who are most in need more generously, just the opposite of the way we act. Because God is not out to get something from anyone. He's out to give something. What he wants in return is that we are a people who always ask him for more. Not that we uh, are more dependent on those that we help. May the Lord bless us as we become, as we are shaped more in the image and likeness of God and less in the image and likeness of the people of this world.